All right, 10 2. We are talking trapezoids, rhombuses, and kites. And like I mentioned before, super important to know what a trapezoid look like, looks like, what a rhombus looks like, and what a kite looks like, okay? Um, okay, so here we go. First one, um, the formula for the area of a trapezoid is this. I didn't leave you much room there. I'm going to write it right here. Area equals, hey, join me, won't you? That's a parenthesis. It's one half times the height of the trapezoid times your base one plus your base two. Notice there's parentheses around that, okay? Again, this is on your sheet of paper. It will always be given to you. You need to know what is what. So in a trapezoid, remember you always have one pair of parallel sides. Um, what are your bases? The parallels or the non-parallels? The parallels. So if this is base one, then this is base two, okay? That's base one and base two. The height, just like every other figure we've done, figure we've done so far, is the perpendicular. So your height might be right here, okay? It has to be perpendicular to the two bases. It is not the two legs, right? This is a leg, this is a leg. We don't use the legs. The legs mean nothing unless one of the legs is perpendicular to your two parallels, all right? Um, so one half times the height times base one plus base two. Um, so this first example is as easy as they come. You're gonna take this formula and you're gonna drop in what you know to find the area of this figure. So in this figure, um, technically this is gonna be a right angle also. You have that rectangle and a triangle. Now, in the last one, we just said, well, I know the area of a rectangle, I know the area of a triangle, I'm gonna find each area, I'm gonna add them together, and I will find my area that way. You can do that. It's a lot more work every time if you're gonna find two different areas and put them together. A trapezoid has its own formula. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna go one half times what? What's H? That's your height, the 242, okay? Times, what are your bases? 190, 190, and, 190 and 250. Now it doesn't matter which one is which. Um, addition is commutative, so you can put either one first. 190 plus 250, okay? And now if you want to do the math, um, PEMDAS and simplify, you can. I recommend just plug it into your calculator as you see it. If you plug it in exactly how you see it, your calculator will do PEMDAS for you. Um, so if you plug that in, you should get 53,240 what? Miles squared. Okay. Okay, the second one. So that's as easy as they come. There is no easier trapezoid problem than that right there where you're given all your numbers and they're the only numbers you're given and you literally drop them in. Where it gets a little fancier is this. Let's say this is a 90 degree angle. They tell you you have a 60 degree angle there. What do you know about 60 degree angles in a right triangle? 30, 60, 90, yes. Okay, so quick recap. Move over here. You'll see 30, 60, 90s and 45, 45, 90s throughout. So maybe you just want to draw your sample setup a little refresher. Um, in a 30, 60, 90, the side across from your 30, we call what? Thank you. That's your L. What's the side across from the 60? L rad 3. And across from the right angle? 2L. You guys are so good. Um, in a 45, 45, 90, what is this side? L. L. And this one? L. And? L. L rad 2. Okay? So you're going to use those. Maybe take a little picture of that and drop it in your homework so that you have it handy. Now look at this. Um, and again, if you want to break it into two figures and find the rectangle and find the triangle, you can. I don't recommend it because this is going to be a lot simpler. 
1 half times the height times base 1 plus base 2 is the formula we're using. Um, of those three numbers, H, B1, and B2, which ones do we know right now? B1 and B2. Base 1 could be the 5. Base 2 could be the 7. Um, and again, those are interchangeable. Your height is unknown so far, but it's pretty quick to find. Can anyone tell me this length? Two. That is 2. If this is 5, then this is 5. If the whole thing is 7, 7 minus 5 will get us that 2. So what is the height? It is 2 rad 3. This is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. This is your L side. This is your L rad 3 side. So the height is 2 times the square root of 3. Now you have all your information. You just need to plug it into that formula. Um, take your time on this because it's tempting to plug things in not quite right. 1 half times 2 rad 3 times five plus seven. Okay, now here's the deal. You can't just plug this into your calculator um, because we always want it in simplest radical form. So basically what you can do is you can ignore the radical and plug everything else into the calculator and then just attach the radical at the end if you want because all the rest of it can be simplified. Um, but basically what's happening is you're going one half times two is one times this number, which is 12. So 1 half times 2 times 12, and then attach your rad 3 after that. Um, so half of 2 times 12 is just 12 <clears throat> times the square root of 3. And don't forget to label meters squared. Does that make sense? So don't let a 30, 60, 90, or 45, 45, 90 freak you out. You've done it. Just take your time. Think about what parts do we know, um, and you'll get there. Questions on that? Wait, so um, when you're doing the 1 half times 2 times 12, you can just put the rad 3 at the end or whatever the rad is at the end. Yeah, don't even multiply that. Just multiply this oh, just add to that. get the 12, and then attach the rad 3 to it. So why did you make the base 2, 7? Shouldn't it be 5? Because the base of the triangle would be 2. Uh, we're not treating it like a triangle. We're treating it like a trapezoid. So the, so whole, bottom. the whole bottom of the trapezoid is 7. Okay. Yeah. If you broke it into pieces, then you could do 5 and 2 separately. Yeah. But that's more work. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Questions thus far? Okay, these next two are actually the same formula, but very different looking figures. Um, area of a rhombus, what makes something a rhombus? Two pairs. It's a parallelogram with two opposite, like four, what? Oh. Not right angles, congruent sides. So a rhombus is always gonna have four congruent sides, doesn't have to have four right angles, okay? Um, in a rhombus, you're going to draw in the diagonals, okay? So we'll call this whole thing diagonal one, and we'll call this whole thing diagonal two, okay? And I'm talking the whole thing. I'm not just talking about the half of it, okay? The whole thing is diagonal one. The whole thing is diagonal two, okay? Your formula is the area equals one half times diagonal one, times diagonal two, okay? It's not diagonal to the first power, diagonal to the second power. Notice it's a subscript one and two. So it's just labeling those two different diagonals, diagonal one, diagonal two, and we're multiplying, okay? Um, same goes, and maybe you just want to do this, diagonal one, diagonal two, okay? It's the whole thing. Same goes for a kite. It's still the diagonals. So we would call this diagonal one, and we would call this diagonal two. Um, same formula. It's one half 
times diagonal one times diagonal two, um, just the whole thing. I'm, I'm gonna say that till it annoys the crap out of you. It's the entire length of the diagonal that you want to use, okay? So you multiply the two diagonals and then you cut that in half. And if I get to show you the video later, you'll see why on that, um, which I shouldn't be able to because this is almost done. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to find the area of a rhombus and the area of a kite, and then I'll show you some math wars. Um, if you look at this first one, it feels like we don't have enough information, right? You need the entire diagonal and the entire diagonal. Can anyone tell me the length of this diagonal? 24. It's 24, okay? So if we call this diagonal one, we would say diagonal one is 24 centimeters. You're just doubling it because the diagonals bisect in a rhombus, okay? Um, but we have to find the other diagonal and we don't have a length anywhere on that diagonal. Does anyone see how to find it? Um, Pythagorean, theorem. Pythagorean theorem. You're looking at a triangle here where you know two of the three sides. That's always Pythagorean theorem. So what you're gonna do to find X is you're gonna say X squared plus what? 12 squared. 12 squared, the two legs equals the hypotenuse squared. So take away 12 squared from both sides. Um, you can just plug this into your calculator, 15 squared minus 12 squared, and you will get, what does that come out to, 81? So if x squared equals 81, square root both sides, what is x? Nine. nine. Okay, so this is nine. What's this length down here? Also nine. So your diagonal two is how long? 18. 18. Add those two nines together. Okay, so if I know my formula, area equals one half times diagonal one times diagonal two, now it's just a matter of plugging those lengths in. So I'm gonna say the area of this rhombus is one half times 24 times 18. And again, plug it into your calculator. One half times 24 times 18, and I get the area equals 216 square centimeters. Okay. So sometimes you'll be given all the information and it's just a matter of dropping it in. Other times you have to find it, right? We had to find the other diagonal by using the Pythagorean theorem, or you'll have to use a 30, 60, 90, or you'll have to use a 45, 45, 90. Here's my plead. Do not look at every triangle and go, it looks like a 30, 60, 90. Let's just treat it like a 30, 60, 90. That won't work. If you know two of the three sides, Pythagorean theorem. If you know a 30 or 60 degree angle, then do the 30, 60, 90. If you know a 45, do the 45, 45, 90, okay? Pay attention to what information you've been given there. All right, example four. Here it is. This is a kite. Can you tell me the length of diagonal one? Six works. Um, does that have to be diagonal one? No. No. Um, but diagonal one, we'll say, is six. What's the length of diagonal two? Seven. Seven. Two and five put together. Not really drawn to scale, but that's okay. Um, so if we know area equals one half times diagonal one times diagonal two, it's going to be one half times six times seven. Um, can I just warn you right now? really common mistake that a lot of people make is they add those two together. Don't add them. You're multiplying. One half times diagonal one times diagonal two. So don't add. Multiply everything. Um, we get an area of 21 what? Meters squared. Meters squared. Questions? Yes. 